Hey there everybody, my name is Joyce Mundi Wahiga and today on Sitam Church Online, I'd like to share with us about finding calm in the middle of the storm. In Matthew chapter 8, verse uh, 26 and 27, we learn about the disciples uh, being on a boat with Jesus in the middle of a terrible, terrible storm. Now, the Sea of Galilee was actually known for its very sudden and very violent storms. And, you know, these guys, they were used to this sea. Some of them were fishermen. So they kind of understood exactly what sort of the temperaments of that sea would be. And so for people who are experienced sailors and fishermen, for them to panic in the way they did, this should tell us that this was an absolutely valid concern. I mean, these guys were terrified and they cried out, Lord, save us we are perishing and the interesting thing is that as the storm was raging and the disciples were panicking jesus was actually asleep in the boat and then he wakes up you know to of course to their panic and he speaks to the disciples first not even the storm he actually speaks to the disciples first and he rebukes the disciples for their fear and their unbelief not for their request or for waking him up but because they lacked faith in that moment and let me just read those two scriptures for us he replied you of little faith why are you so afraid then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm verse 27 the men were amazed and asked what kind of man is this even the winds and the waves obey him this passage is so interesting and there are two sort of scenes that i guess we could apply to our lives today number one was obviously there's the storm of the sea but there's also a very clear storm of the souls which i think is what jesus was rebuking when he first spoke to the disciples and said you of little faith why are you so afraid and both of them represent opportunities for christ sort of demonstrating himself as both a restorer and the tranquilizer if you will and now christ actually from this situation we see him bring order out of confusion and literally a calm out of storm jesus is the master of this life that we live all right it's a life of conflict it's a life of stubborn elements it's a life of trials and tribulations but jesus is master of it all and christ came not to make the outward storm sort of calm down but to show his power even in the midst of our weaknesses even in those moments where we feel we are absolutely done completely wasted and there's nowhere else to go nothing else to do but to throw in the towel. Jesus came to show and to demonstrate his power right in those moments. I mean, picture this guy sleeping <laughs> while this storm is raging. Water is splashing into the boat. These disciples who are very experienced again with these waters are screaming and panicking, but Jesus is calm. And with a word, he silences that storm. He came to show himself infallible over every situation, every trial that you and I go through. And he also came to introduce peace into those very situations. And so the thing for us to understand is that Jesus saves us not by taking us out of difficulty. Sometimes, to, to, today I was told that he, he, sometimes he actually causes us to go through situations for us to find the peace that we need. So it's not always about taking us out of situations, but by making us in those very weaknesses strangely strong. That's where we sing about amazing grace and his grace being made perfect in our weaknesses. 
There's a quote by C.J. Vaughan and it says, not by smoothing the circumstances, but by fortifying the soul, infusing grace at the moment and pointing to an indestructible peace beyond. That is what God does, what Jesus does in our lives. And so remember that as much as the disciples had witnessed these storms on the Sea of Galilee over and over again, they literally panicked in this one. And that tells me that indeed there are stormy areas in all of our lives that perhaps we haven't fully surrendered to God. You know those situations you go through and even you're like, hey, Appa, and you're like, God, I don't know if you have this under control. I think this story is a reminder to us to submit even those areas where we feel God can't work or maybe God won't work, to understand that again, he's infallible. And so I don't know what area that is for you. It could be something you've been praying over for such a long time. It's not even just about COVID. COVID maybe has just worsened the situation for you. And now you're like, you see God, you see? <laughs> but I want to encourage you today that um, God is in control over everything and he's asking us to submit even that area where you feel you've been so hurt, so discouraged, so put down, even that area, he is able to rise up in the middle of a storm and with a word, silence it um, for his glory. Jesus is willing to help us if only we seek him and if only we continue to wait on him. Let's not discount his power. Let's not discount his power. There is nothing that is impossible with this God that we serve. And so I hope that you can find courage for every single day with this assurance um, of who God is. Despite countless trials and tribulations and, and problems and challenges and whatever it is, may you find courage for every single day and Find that calm in the middle of a storm. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope it's been of encouragement to you. And uh, be sure to leave your comments uh, on our social media handles as you watch this clip at Setam Church Online. Also be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless you and may you find and have throughout this week calm in the middle of the storm.